Suicide Squad 2. Let's begin. BAM! Now, before I start, I'm gonna talk about my first impression. You know, just my thoughts when I watched this movie. And that is awesome! It was cool! It was fun! <laughs> it was enjoyable! It was a little bit cringe in the middle, but overall just amazing. You know, it was just it was just awesomeness throughout the whole fucking thing. You know, I really had fun watching this movie. It wasn't just like, oh, okay, so it was entertaining. No, it was fun. You know what I mean? It was hilarious in parts. It was action heavy. It was just crazy, fucked up, like suicide shit. You know what I mean? So it was just enjoyable. This is not technical. This is not me breaking it down, going into details, being like, yes, this theory that they created really represented on the inflections of society. No, it was just my thoughts. Now for the breakdown. Let's begin. The breakdown. The things that I really liked about this movie is the main things that I hated about the first one. Because the first one, they kind of didn't understand, I guess, what's the Suicide Squad, the whole idea is about. It's about crazy people. They're not heroes. They're not family. And that's what they tried to make, you know? They tried to make Fast and Furious, but instead of cars, it's been like... Well, Fast and Furious, you know, it's just, it's just ridiculous. It got really stupid in the middle, especially when they were like, Oh, I lost my friends. It's like, I don't give a shit, man. Just die. You're Suicide Squad. Show me fun. This one delivered on the fun. Really showed me this unknown fun side of DC, which I was so happy. This is the first movie that I felt like, yeah, I could rewatch it. I could watch it more than one time and I wouldn't be bored out of my goddamn mind. But, you know, I'm still reserved. I'm still hesitant because DC does that. You know, gives you good shit and then BAM! Right to the face with a garbage movie. So, uh, it's, it's tearing me apart. But, let's get back to the breaking down part because my brain is all over the place. The breaking down part. So many great elements that they really enhanced in this one. They really dealt with the whole world in a very interesting way. They, they didn't just shove information down your throat. No, they really created a world that is hilarious, that is fun, that is action heavy, that is just not taking itself too seriously, you know, because this is the Suicide Squad. They're not taking themselves any way, shape or form serious. They're just having their own madness and their own version of fun, which is craziness. And they delivered. Harley Quinn, as usual, the best Harley Quinn I've ever seen. You know, outside of animation, this is probably my favorite interpretation of Harley Quinn. Awesomeness. I loved her in Birds of Prey. She did a lot of uh, interesting ways of really diving into the psychology of Harley Quinn. A lot of people didn't like uh, Bird of Prey, but honestly, I, I felt like it was cool, you know, it was enjoyable. I have the urge to rewatch it, not now, but you know, I still have the urge. So I didn't understand why people were hesitant, but this one, holy crap, Harley, dude, it was awesome. Uh, honorable mentions, John Cena, who would expect John Cena, okay? Which is hilarious because the first one gave me a Fast and Furious vibe and now he's in Fast 9 and now he's this. Hey, John Cena, you're doing your thing, you know? That deal with China, well, <coughs> cut this. I didn't say anything about the other. <laughs> what? Cha, no, no, you're crazy, you're crazy. Let's get back to the review. So seriously, it was just amazing out of him because I didn't expect John Cena to give me anything. Like the last guy to be like, yeah, this will create a good fucking show. John Cena, what the fuck? Anyhow, Edris Elba, dude, awesome. And him and John Cena together is just, is just perfect. It was just perfect. Uh, the whole movie was just awesomeness. I, I, I'm, I know I, I seem like I'm giving it too much energy. I'm giving it like too much praise. I get it, I get it, dog. But at the same time, it's like, it's been so long since we had a good movie from DC. And this one is really good, really good. So thanks for watching. 
Uh, if you didn't like anything I did, you know, hit the dislike button and that, you know, dose it, exit that way. Uh, my rating for this is an 8 out of 10. Highly recommend you would watch, you will not be disappointed. You know, it's not really deep. I, 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 I did the review, I don't need to go over it. So, yeah, exit that way, dose this.